week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. an old flintlock. And that hog leg pistol. An old cap and ball, Dick. Gosh, they haven't used those guns since Daniel Boone. How can he be the world's greatest sharpshooter? Well, some of those old mountain men are pretty good shots, Tag. But he's not half as good as you are. Oh, looks like my young brother's my greatest booster. <laughs> Annie, your package came. It's inside on the counter. Oh, thanks, Clem. One for you too, Lofty. Your new Sunday shirt. The real pretty, too. You mean you looked at it? Well, not all the way. <laughs> Just took a little peek. <laughs> Nothing to worry about, folks. I'm not here for a holdup. I'm here to prevent one. I'm D.K. Rodney, special agent for the Railway Express Company. That train's carrying an army payroll bound for Fort Yuma. $55,000. The strong box will be unloaded here. It'll stay in that safe overnight, and tomorrow it'll go out again on the afternoon mail train. What well, makes you think there might be a holdup? Because Snowy Kringle's coming in on the same train. He doesn't look like a holdup man to me. He looks more like a Santa Claus. Except this Santa Claus wears the gun, and he knows how to use it. He shot a station agent in Dodge City. You can't always judge a man by his appearance, Miss Oakley. Sometimes a man's not what he seems. So he shot a man in Dodge City and he's still on the loose? Well, he was masked when he held up the dipo in Dodge. Wore a flour sack over his head. Covers beard, I guess. Is there anything we can do to help, Mr. Rodney? Oh, thanks. But I intend to camp right in this office as long as that army payroll's in the safe. Hotel Diablo. I'll take the thing, Mr. Kringle. Oh, just the suitcase. I'll take the rifle myself. My name's Peg Oakley. Uh, glad to know you, son. Are you really the world's greatest sharpshooter? That old muscle loader? Would you like to see how old Betsy works? Sure. Well, you just run down the road a piece, blow up this toy balloon, and set her adrift. Almost as good as you are, eh? Oh, no. He's better, Lofty. I could hit it with a carbine, but I doubt if I could hit anything with that old flintlock. <laughs>
Yes, sir. I'm all right, Nate. I wonder what happened to old Betsy. Here it is, sir. Oh, thanks, son. Didn't even get hurt one bit. Fine. I've only been in down a short dive, and already I'm indebted to its people. <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. Well, that's all right. Which way is the Diablo Hotel? It's right here, sir. <laughs> I couldn't see it for looking at it. <laughs> you know, this Diablo dust kind of gets in a man's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Put it right down there, son. Well, that was mighty nice of you to bring my supper up here, boy. Wait, I, I got something for you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, will there be anything else? No, that's all. Didn't we meet somewhere before? Yes, the runaway wagon, remember? Oh, sure. How could I ever forget that? <laughs> Hey, these are nice boots. Even got your initials on them. Yep, made to order. I had a pair stolen in Dodge City last month. Had to get a new pair. Pretty expensive. Mind if I look at your revolver? Sure. Put that gun down! Didn't anybody ever teach you to keep your hands off loaded guns? I'm sorry. My sister told me how I to... I don't care what your sister told you. Nobody touches my gun. Now, get out of here. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. You heard what I said. Get out now! Yes, sir. Hi, Tang. How's the hotel business? Got a 25-cent tip tonight. Oh, business is booming. Annie, the country's headed for good times. And it's time for all young hotel men to be in bed. Something funny about that man. What man? Snowy Kringle. At Santa Claus, he was a nice guy. But then when I went to look at a six-shooter, he was different. Kind of mean, you know. Well, Tag, you can't always judge a man by his appearance. Sometimes a man's not what he seems. Somebody we met at the depot today said the same thing. If he touches that telegraph key, I'll blow your brains out. Clem, don't touch that key. In the baggage room, both of you. How do you get out of here? Can. As far as in all the windows. Snowy Kringle out there blowing a safe. You think it was him? Did you notice his boots? No, but I noticed his gun. And it ain't no cap and ball gun. Uh, you don't think he's stupid enough to use his own gun? I'll see you in the morning, Lofty. Good night, Annie. I'll put your horse away. All right. It's the depot. Oh, 
Just flying glass when he shot the lamp. It was Snowy Kringle, all right. Well, the deputy won't have to chase him very far. He'll head straight back for his hotel. What makes you so sure? Well, Snowy Kringle always operates the same way. Flower sack over his head, and blows the safe with a powder horn. If you go to his hotel, you'll find him pretending to be asleep. A fine old man who looks like Santa Claus. That's the way I found him in Dodge City. Let's go wake up Santa Claus. Just a minute, please. All right, Grandpa. You're under arrest. Arrest? What for? That little job in Dodge City, another little job here in Diablo tonight. The charges will be brought by Mr. Rodney, special agent for the Railway Express Company. Leave that gun alone. That's my gun. Not your gun anymore, Mr. Kringle. This is Exhibit A in a hold-up case. You wait in the hall. I'll bring him out as soon as he's dressed. But, sir, that, there must be some mistake. I heard the young lady say something about a hold-up. I don't know what she's talking about. I swear I don't. You'll find out soon enough. Get your clothes on and pack your bag, Santa Claus. You got a date to slide down a chimney tonight. Right into a cell at the Diablo Jail. A badge. You a lawman? What do you think I was chasing you for? <laughs> How did I know? I got 50 bucks on me. I figured you was out for a holdup. What were you doing at the Diablo Depot tonight? Just riding past. I heard an explosion and I heard a shot. I figured there was trouble, so I beat it. I'm a peaceful man. I don't like trouble. How long do you say it's been since you fired this gun last? Oh, about sundown. I shot a jackrabbit. Oh. What do you do for a living? Cowpool. On my way to Tucson to hunt a job. That was a real fancy boots you've got. Initials and everything. What's your name? Sam. Uh, Sam Kelly. That accounts for the initials on the boots. How are you going to account for the initials SJ in your saddle? Oh, uh, I, um, I bought this saddle from a fella in Dodge. Uh, uh, name was Steve Jackson. That's one explanation. Another might be that you stole the saddle, or the boots, or both. Come on, get in your horse. We're going back to Diablo. Ran off. 
We either have to catch him or you'll have a long walk back to Diablo. Here's your breakfast, Mr. Kringle. Thanks, ma'am, but I ain't hungry. Well, this is nice and hot. Let me pour it for you. show you something. Look at that. He doesn't even have regular bullets in his gun. See? It's birdshot. I know, but why if he's a sharpshooter? Shh. Come on outside, and I'll show you. Tag, run out in the street and toss us up in the air, just like you did for Snowy Kringle. All right, Annie. And you don't need much aim. I just fired your gun, Mr. Kringle. I know. Well, I guess you know now. About my eyes, I mean. Yes, I know. How long have you been using birdshot? Almost two years now, ever since my eyes started to fail me. I try to keep it a secret on account of kids like him. All over the country, they come to see my carnival show. They want to see the world's greatest sharpshooter. A fine sharpshooter I am. In another year, I, I won't even be able to hit a balloon with birdshot. Tag get his tray. There's no reason for him to stay in this jail cell. Okay. Tag, get his bag and take it over at the hotel. I'm dropping all charges against him. Okay, Annie. You're very kind, ma'am. No, not kind. Just reasonable. You know, there's a certain railroad detective by the name of Rodney. He claims that you robbed our depot and then another depot in Dodge City. I didn't, ma'am. I know that. The gunman that uh, robbed the two depots did some pretty fancy shooting. He shot a lantern right out of Clem Lancey's hand. And I know that with your eyesight, you wouldn't even be able to find a target like that. With my eyes, I couldn't even see the depot. Who's this, Lofty? Well, I caught last night out at Indian Rocks. His gun had been fired, and he tried to ditch this in the brush when I was chasing him. It's a flower sack. Rodney said Snowy Kringle was wearing something just like this on all those holdups. And he also has a pair of moccasin boots, like Kringle's. Hey, Mr. Kringle told me he had a pair of boots stolen from him in Dodge City. I bet that man stole them so he could use them for that holdup. Were your boots stolen before the Dodge City holdup? Yes, ma'am, and they were stolen from my hotel room the night before. I bet that man, with those same stolen boots, held up the Diablo Depot. Yeah, the only trouble is I couldn't find that Army payroll box. I checked every inch of the road he took from the depot. No luck. You're in a pretty bad spot. You'd better tell us where that strong box is. I'll make him talk. All right, I'm in charge now. I'll drop those guns or I'll blast him apart. I got you into this mess, ma'am. I deserve to be shot. Now, all three, you're back in that open cell. Don't listen to them, folks. Don't listen to... Let go of me, God! Let go! Got that spare key on me someplace. Maybe you lost it on the road last night. Ah! Ah! Oh, yeah. there it is. Hurry up, son. Hurry up. You got it? Thanks, boy. 
Tag, you stay here. Okay. Boy, help me find my gun, will you? Here it is. Oh, thanks. my horse. Where did I catch him for you? You're a lad after my own heart. <laughs> I'm a jam. You got yourself in a jam? What'd you come here for? Because you still got the payroll box. Besides, you got me into this mess. Now you can help me get out of it. If I get caught, I'm going to tell them you were behind the whole thing. Two can escape better than one. When we leave here, it'll be together. Well, Annie Oakley and that deputy still think I'm on their side. We can use that. Come on. You think you ought to go after them? They're already out of sight. Well, don't you worry, son. I still got ears. I can hear. The outlaw's horse. He must be in the depot. It's a westbound train. They don't know it, but they're picking up two passengers. It's a sunset limited. Don't ever stop here. They'll stop today. Change your semaphore. What? You heard me, Dad. Let's red light that train. The semaphore's changed. Somebody's flagging down the limited. Wonder where that railroad detective went. Lofty, we've got to get that train straight through. Listen, there's a hand control on that semaphore. Do you think you could sneak down there and change it to a clear track? If I can get that padlock off the box. Wait a minute. Covered. He's going to change that semaphore to a clear track. Oh, no, he's not. Drop that right. You heard me, sister. Drop it. Yesterday that you were saying to me, you can't always judge a man by his appearance. Sometimes a man is not what he seems. Major Paley, 7th Cavalry. I understand there's been some trouble here. Well, there's no trouble now, Major. I've been sent to escort the Army payroll the rest of the way to Fort Yuma. Right here, Major. I want to thank all of you. I understand there was some expert shooting done to prevent this robbery. Somebody shot a padlock off the semaphore. I don't need two guesses to know it was you, sir. Oh, uh, no. no. Oh, I, I wasn't oh, even... Oh, don't uh... be so modest, Mr. Pringle. The Major knows that you're the world's greatest sharpshooter, don't you, Major? Of course. We all know it. Don't we, Tag? You sure are, Mr. Kringle. There's a lot of nice people in this town, Major. I got only one complaint. This Diablo dusted. Kind of gets in a man's eyes. <laughs> 